Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Warrior! Let's head on south to the village of Remalder. Hey, that rhymed. Sort of. I guess. By the way, something I forgot to mention in the last episode, when I was grinding from level 7 to level 8, took me about 19 minutes off-screen, just so you know. And in order to get to Remolder, we have to go through this poisonous swamp. Nothing we can do about it, I'm afraid. Nope. Well, not right now, but... Nothing we can do about it right now. So let's get over to that cave. Wow, it's really draining my HP. Let's just make it to the cave. There we go. Aziz, light! There we go. And let's heal up after walking through that swamp. There we go. Now, to get to the other side, just go straight down. Do not go to the right, viewers. Do not, or thou shalt most certainly die. You got a... Well, I suppose I showed this guy off earlier. A druid. Eh, they're a little harder. But, eh, no worries for wear. Oh, crap, I should've healed. I should've healed! Let me open up my freaking menu! Don't you hate it when that happens? When you're, like, about to open your menu as you're walking along, but then you get into a battle and you're like, No! Crap. Well, we can take him. Now, I'm going to Remolder a little earlier than perhaps you should. You, If you're new to the game, you may want to wait until you're, like, level 9, preferably level 10. But I'm making an early run. I'll be doing that through most of the game, really, viewers. But, yeah, that's just the way I roll in this game. You could probably get through this entire cave without using a torch if you know where you're going. Just go south to the wall, right, down, right, down, left, and you'll hit the wall. Or, well, you'll find the stairs. Whatever. Oh, come on! Is that guy flying? Eh. Well, at least I'm not turning blood red. Wow, these guys are kicking my ass. I'm using a lot more MP than I had really hoped. I wonder if I can make it all the way there without dying. I am going there a bit low level, so we'll see what I can do, viewers. We'll see. By the way, if I didn't mention it before, deserts have the same encounter rate as hills do. I didn't know that until someone figured that out. Now, one strategy that I'm going to be using here is the sleep... Yeah, run. The sleep run strategy. Uh, interestingly enough, they, they actually coded it into the game where if you put an enemy to sleep and you try to run, you're guaranteed to run away. Which makes sense, because if an enemy's asleep, well, how could they prevent you from running away, right? You know, but I'm just surprised that they actually put forth the effort to specifically code that into the game, you know? Because, I mean, you'd figure they'd just put an agility calculation and figure, well, you know, why bother putting something with sleep there? But they did. So that's kind of nice. And it makes it a whole lot easier to get a guaranteed run. Now, this lady here, in the original translation, does not, or is not asking to sell tomatoes or saying that you have tomatoes or pretending that you're selling her tomatoes. Would you like one of my tomatoes? No. No. Although, actually, that's not too far off, because in the original translation, she was asking you if you would like a puff puff massage, if you know what I mean, viewers. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah, yeah, it's it's what you think it is. Let's take a look around. Oh, a ring, huh? Well, let's see. Uh, I got a fighter's ring. Let's put that on. Oh, what the hell? I'm a warrior. This is a warrior's ring. I'm not married. Hey, how's it going? Oh, really? Huh. I didn't notice them around here, but I guess so. Whoa, okay. Yeah, the monsters do get a lot tougher to the south. Um, I guess not. I haven't heard of any such weapon. Well, they're kind of already outside your walls, but... They can't stand bricks and mortar! I can't get inside the village! Okay, get out of my way. There you go. Hey, how's it going? No. Go to the south, soldier. The deep south. Well, yeah, I suppose it is the deep south, technically. Oh. Hmm, I wonder if they're talking about the stones of sunlight and the staff of rain. We'll keep that in mind for later. Anyone over here? No oh. There is someone over there. Hmm. wonder how we can get over there. There's a 
moat blocking the way. Edric created a rainbow to the west. Huh, remember those two pieces of advice for later, viewers. That's critical for completing the rest of the game. Yeah, let's take a quick pause break here. Okay, so let's buy the new equipment that I really came here for. Uh, no, I don't... Oh, wait, no, she's not the one who was asking if I was selling tomatoes. Would you like some tomatoes? Oh, she was the girl who was asking about that. Do they both say that? Oh, no, no. Okay, I guess I got them mixed up. They all look the same to me. Whoa, better get a better weapon to take him out. Which I think I'll do right now. Getting the broadsword. Uh, actually, hold on a sec. Show you my attack power. We got 32 right now with the copper sword. And we want to get the broadsword. This one will last me for almost the rest of the game. It is really, really good. And it just lasts so long. So it's going to be a long time before we can buy the next weapon. And when you ever buy a piece of equipment, you automatically sell your old equipment. So that's kind of nice, so you don't have to worry about buying and selling or equipping or, or anything like that. Uh, no, no, I think we're good. Good to go. So we went from 32 to 42 attack power. Oh, baby! Yeah, that's pretty good. So now we'll be able to take on the enemies around here, actually, and do some good level grinding. Okay, I'll leave your six-panel house. No, no, I still don't have any proof. What do you want me to do? Give you my blood? Well, let's talk to some of the people around the outskirts of town. Yeah, you can walk around here without actually leaving the town here. Huh, and there's that strange old guy at the end. Huh, we'll talk to him soon enough, viewers, soon enough. Hey, how's it going? Oh, well, I wonder who she, where Oric is. Let's leave town and get back inside there. Talk to the other people around here. Hey, how's it going? Oh, I guess they got mixed up or something. They were to meet on the opposite sides of town or something like that. Huh, that's weird. Do they do that in other Dragon Quest games? I mean, I know they do it in Dragon Warrior 3, but uh, anything more later in the series? I thought they did that in Dragon Quest 4. I forget. I don't know if they do that. If it's like, like a running gag or something. But anyway, here is the shop. The shop that sells the magic keys. All right. So let's buy some. We can get up to six. I don't know why that's the maximum number, but there you go. Um, I need to save the rest of my gold to rest up at the end there. I want to get up to five magic keys eventually, but perhaps not right now. So, look. Game? Uh, fortunately, wolves have no resistance to sleep, or extremely little. I forget. I'd have to look it up. But anyway, I want to take those keys. Well, first thing I want to do is uh, rest up at the inn here. Yeah, it's 55 gold. A little pricey for the inn, but, you know, we, we've got the money, so why not? Okay, let's see what this guy is doing here at the inn. Oh, Howard, there you are. Yeah, just like in Nintendo Power, he gives you hints in the game. Yeah, there's a, a well, a bath, or it's a little top water tile at the town there. And go four steps south, you can find a secret item. So we'll see what that what's over there the next time I decide to go there. And in this treasure chest, we find the wings. All right. So yeah, we'll need those to get back to Tantigo because it's a pretty long walk to get back there. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to do some level grinding. We want to get up to level 10 and ultimately buy the full plate armor. So what I want to do is stick around this three tile desert square and fight some enemies around here since we're really close to the town. Nuts. Uh, let's give it one more try and then I'm gonna start running. But yeah, basically for all the enemies around here, you pretty much need to put them to sleep at this point in order to stand a chance against them. And then you should be fine, really. All right, there we go. And we're gonna be using the inn a lot. So don't worry about you know how much money you're spending right now. Right now, all I care about is getting my levels up. We want to get up to level 10. That's the way to go. Most of the enemies around here don't have too much resistance to sleep. Now, if they wake up, like, the first round after you cast sleep, then, okay, then recast it. But at this point, you know, we've, we're already a couple rounds into the battle, 
So, you know, I might as well just, you know, finish them off because I'm reasonably close. But yeah, wolves, pretty vanilla. They don't have too much defense, so that's pretty good for us. Uh, warlocks, like I was saying earlier, they can cast sleep and hurt you. So, gotta be careful for that. Skeletons, they have up to, I think, 30 HP. So, you know, ow, that didn't kill him. I thought that was, like, reasonably close. Sometimes the game will say, yeah, close enough, that's fine, but... Okay, well, that's most of the enemies around here. There's also metal scorpions that have a lot of physical defense, but not so much on the HP, like 22. So I think we'll be fine to grind up to level 9 and 10. Next time on Let's Play Dragon Warrior! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!